Hi guys, I am the Cube Solver. I will be showing you on the different ways to solve the last layer of a 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Let's start making a cross. In my previous tutorial on the 3x3 Rubik's Cube, this is the algorithm that I thought. The problem with this is you have to do it a lot of times, more likely when you only just have a dot to start with. But with this algorithm, you can have the cross in no time. If you have a dot, you can face anywhere and do this algorithm. Front clockwise, right clockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, the middle clockwise, right clockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, and the back counterclockwise. And now we already have a cross. There is also an instance where we will have to start with an L like this. With this algorithm, you can also have the cross in no time. But you have to face the cube like this, the one right edge at the back and the one right edge at your left. Front clockwise, up clockwise, right clockwise, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, and front counterclockwise. And now we already have the cross, but if you have the straight line, you can do the same algorithm that I do in my previous video. Next, we now have to position the edges at the right place. If you already have two edges in the correct position, the algorithm I thought in the previous video will work. And you only have to do it once, like this. Now we're done with all of the edges. But if you have only one edge on the right place, like this one, this is the only right edge, we have to take a look to the right side. If the color of the edge is the color of the opposite side, this is green, and the opposite side of blue is green as well, then you only have to do this algorithm once. And we're done. But if the color of the edge on the right side does not have the color of the opposite side, like this one, this is blue, the opposite side of orange is red, you have to do the same algorithm twice. Fortunately, there is a way to only do it once, facing the correct side, and the algorithm goes like this. Right clockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up clockwise, right clockwise, up 180 degrees, and right counterclockwise. We will move on on placing the corner pieces. So there is a correct corner piece in here. And on the left side, obviously, it is not correct. And at the left side, you have the green side. If the corner piece in here has a green on it, you only have to do the usual algorithm once. But if not, you have to do it twice. Now, there is an algorithm that helps you to do it only once. Now, here is how it goes. Up clockwise, right clockwise, up counterclockwise left counterclockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, and left clockwise. And now you're done with the corner pieces. Lastly, the orientation of the corners. The algorithm I thought in my previous video requires you to consider the side that you're going to face. But in this algorithm, you don't have to because we have to fix the corners one by one. And it goes like this. You can start with anywhere you want, any side you want, any corner piece you want. It goes like this. Right counterclockwise, down counterclockwise, right clockwise, down clockwise, right counterclockwise, down counterclockwise, right clockwise, down clockwise. You just have to repeat over and over until you solve all the corners. You don't have to worry about the messed up first layer. It will be fixed eventually as you continue with the algorithm. 
you don't have to face it like this you just have to flip the top side to move on to the next corner and do the same algorithm like this next corner do it again for the last corner and now we're done if you manage to solve it leave a like in this tutorial Tell your thoughts in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.